We continue with our study from uh, the book of Ephesians. We're going to go on to verse 4 and then also verse 8 and then maybe tomorrow come back to verse 6. It says, Because of His great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in our transgressions. I mentioned yesterday as well, a change has happened in you and me that we are now alive to something totally different, not the sinful nature, something totally different, alive with Christ alive with Christ very important concept there as well so I'm living in a sense with Christ now although I'm looking forward to living with him in the future as well I'm living my life with him now and it says it is by grace you have been saved verse 8 he mentions that again for it is by grace you have been saved through faith it is the grace of God you know we are really not getting what we deserve you and I don't deserve eternal life. We don't deserve forgiveness. We don't deserve what God is giving to you and to me. It is by grace through faith. So first of all, it is the grace of God reaching out to me. Then it's my faith reaching out and accepting the grace of God. And then he says, and this is not from yourself. It is a gift of God. This is what God has, has offered you and me. And thank God that some of us have taken it already. It is not by work. So it's not something you can work for. It is not something if you're good enough, you'll receive. It is because of your transgressions and your past sin. God has reached out in grace. You reach out in faith and God gives you the gift of eternal life. And uh, it says, not by works. Why not? So that you and I can't boast. It's so that we can't boast. So all the glory, all the, 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 the thankfulness go towards God who by His grace has saved us. You know, I often look at people who are not uh, following the Lord Jesus Christ. And I know that some of them are our friends. Some of them have listened to sermons after sermons, maybe come to church with us uh, as well. But they've not responded by faith to the grace of God. And deep down, I really feel sorry for them. But I'm so grateful that you have and I have. Father, we thank you for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, your grace, O oh Father, that you've shown through Christ to each one of us. And as we believe and accept it, that we have eternal life, we are eternally grateful today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.